Hey everybody, Stinger here with a special message, message, a special thank you to the best Italian wrestling podcast. That's right, the best Italian wrestling podcast called Pro Wrestling Culture. Specifically, thank you to Aldo Fiadoni, all right? Aldo, awesome job, man. I guess you and I met in New York in 2019. And there were some tears shed there. <laughs> Man, I love that. I love that. You know what? Real men can cry, bro. Let me tell you something. Man, it means a lot that you watch. It means a lot that uh, this podcast is happening and the, the pro wrestling culture appreciates Aldo Fiadoni. So be watching there. It's going to be showtime. And tune in to the podcast, Pro Wrestling Culture, because it's always showtime there from the stinger. Questo programma non è soggetto a infezioni. My name, the real messiah, Aldo Fiadone, and here with me, the next, the next guest, special guest of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, the French hope, Amal. Hi, Amal. How are we doing? Hey, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm good. I'm good. You're welcome. And thank you for coming <laughs> here on Pro Wrestling Culture. <laughs> My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, let's start the interview. Uh, my first question is, uh, tell us about uh, your beginnings in uh, professional wrestling and uh, who was your very first inspiration? So, when I was younger, uh, my father was a pro wrestling fan, a WWE fan, um, and we used to watch wrestling because he he just kept watching every week, every weekend. So, I just fall in love watching these sports. Uh, I like he was watching them as heroes and in a sense I feel like I just wanted him to look at me the way he was looking at them um and yeah I just get interested uh in this way uh and after that I just uh, went to a training place near uh where I used to live in south of France um I did my first training and I just fall in love uh with pro wrestling um then so, i moved to north of france to get more bookings and stuff because there wasn't a lot of promotion in south of france and that's how i started getting bookings uh around yes. uh, france and then europe <laughs> so uh you telling us about uh, um uh, falling in love with uh, for pro wrestling yes. and i think i think uh, uh you falling in love with opponents with uh, uh, dream opponents so um, who is your dream opponent right now? And uh, probably who is the biggest female wrestler that uh, uh, you ever meet in the ring until now, obviously? obviously. So my dream opponent and my insp inspiration uh, always have been Mickey James because I used to watch okay. her when, uh, while I was younger and uh, she was one of the only ones that my father used to watch because he, was, uh, like, he wasn't like a big... Uh, female wrestling uh, yeah. fan uh, so uh, and I just loved the way uh, she was because we don't expect her to be where she was she wasn't the favorite but she always put people over and uh, shine uh, like this so she's a real inspiration and I would love to face her even like 
uh, till until now I've never faced her. So it's uh, one of my biggest dreams, but uh, also people such as Charlotte or uh, Sasha Banks. I think there are people that um, they can bring the best in each uh, people they face. So I think that would be a great experience. And uh, until now, I think the biggest uh, opponent I've faced is probably Mako Stobara. Um, I faced her twice, once in the Rex debut, um, yeah. back in uh, 2019, and once in uh, NXT UK. So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, about uh, NXT UK, uh, what do you think about uh, this experience and uh, how much uh, all of this uh, uh, gave to you for, uh, for your career? Um, I'm very honored to have been um, recruited by WWE and to have been the uh, the very first French female wrestler to sign with them. Uh, this is, uh, to me, a huge accomplishment. And I think to people all over France as well, I hear that a, lo a lot. And I hope it's going to open doors for more French people in the future. Um, so, yeah, and I, I've learned so much during these years uh, in uh, WWE, and I'm just very grateful for everything. I just regret the fact that we have we haven't a lot of uh, in-ring time, like um, we used to tape the episodes, so it was only mm -hmm. once every six weeks. Uh, for example, back in uh, uh, 2019 with WXW, uh, during my run, I've done like uh, around 100 matches, and mm -hmm. uh, for a year in WWE, uh, only like 10 matches. So yeah. it's, <laughs> not, it's not a lot, but... Um, I'm still very grateful for everything I've got uh, the chance to learn from there. But uh, there is a chance to see you again in a big stage, like, uh, I don't know, uh, obviously WWE or All Elite Wrestling, Impact Wrestling, another big company in uh, the North uh, America. Yeah, I would love to work uh, I, in as many places as possible and to see how things work, to meet new people. Uh, uh, etc. So um, I'm just uh, staying ready for every opportunity and I'm just focusing mm -hmm. on everything uh, at the moment. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Hope for the best. So uh, the next uh, uh, big opportunity uh, will be this Sunday or oh, oh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, this, uh, for yes, <laughs> for the European Pro Wrestling, the EPW, an extraordinary company here in Italy, because uh, in the past uh, the EPW built an impressive uh, federation, and uh, and now um, they want to write history once again with the EPW Women's World Championship. You, Queen Maya, and Session Mott Martina. Uh, are next. Um, what do you think about uh, that match? And uh, what is the first thing uh, you want to do as champion in the EPW? Uh, first of all, it's going to be my very first time in Italy, so I'm very, wow. very excited. Wow. I'm very wow. excited to be there. I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Um, uh, it, it's sorry, sorry, Amal. Sorry, sorry, Amal. Few things are sure in this life. One of these is our <laughs> food. Okay, uh, <laughs> don't worry about uh, the Italian food because it's excellence. <laughs> I'm not worried about that at all. I can wait to, to try that. Thanks for the advice. Um, I think it's going to be a really interesting match. Uh, because we've first of all, we've never faced each other before. Um, okay. And uh, we have uh, very different styles, so I think it's going to be really, really interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be there. And what's the best way to write history than uh, having the first French female champion in Italy? <laughs> <laughs> and I think the first thing uh, I'm going to do is just like uh, enjoy my time, have uh, have some food with the fans there, meet the fans. Um, and maybe go to a cool places to take pictures with that wealth. That would be cool. Yeah, uh, we are very, very nice uh, uh, fans here. In particular, in uh, in the city of Rome, uh, oh. we have many, many companies like uh, EPW, IWA. So uh, I think uh, that will be a, a very impressive show, probably. <laughs> I'm very I, <laughs> I I won't be there, but uh, I I think my friends. Uh, have uh, a great time there and also you and uh, uh, and your partners absolutely uh, so my my last question for uh, this interview um 
Do you have uh, any funny stories that uh, you want to tell us uh, during your time in the ring or uh, outside the ring, obviously, about uh, professional wrestling? Uh, like, most of my uh, funny stories are in the ring or uh, in French. <laughs> uh... <laughs> like, you know, um, yeah. you know, Artemis, she used to uh, be a ref in NXT UK and she uh, okay. she's French. So every time I was in the ring with her, I was just messing with her. Uh, for example, uh, there's uh, some uh, French uh, famous man. And I, when I'm in a hold or something, I, she just look at me very seriously and ask me, <laughs> oh, do you give up? <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> and I shoot her the, the punchline. Uh, and she like, she hold her laugh, but it's a very funny situation. Um, yeah, <laughs> but, but uh, um, probably she uh, she take it, uh, her work very very seriously. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everyone that just having okay. some fun sometimes, you know. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so Amal, uh, thank you obviously for your time. But uh, uh, what you, can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. You... Uh, thank you for your time. But uh, what uh, I want to do um, to do is uh, uh, good luck. Uh, what I want to say, sorry, is uh, good luck <laughs> for uh, tomorrow because uh, uh, I think uh, the there is a um, very very good scenario for the EPW for the Italian professional wrestling with, with this uh, triple treat match because uh, the EPW had uh, a match like this uh, seven years ago with uh, Tony Storm, uh, Zelina Vega, and yeah. uh, Nixon Newell. Yes. Uh, I've seen that. I've seen that. That was, yes. that was really cool. It oh, was absolutely. really cool to see the, yes. how, how, how come they, like, they went from, from that and look where they are now. And it's inspiring. And it, I think it gives hope to everyone. So we just uh, need to work as, as hard as possible. And I'm just going to do my best um, tomorrow just to impress everyone and to give the best um, uh, uh, show to the, to the audience. And I'm, I'm going to do it because I'm hungry for gold. I'm back in, in Europe yes. and I'm here for that. Yes, you have the, <laughs> the chance to write the history uh, like uh, Queen Maya and uh, Session Mort. Uh, so... Thank you very much once again for your time here on this podcast. And uh, again, once again, good luck for tomorrow. For this thank Sunday, you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amal. Thank you. Bye.